It's Ken Pasqualina. Morning. Live from the uh, Walmart Supercenter at Fanshawe and uh, Hyde Park with our magical mountain of toys. Thanks to uh, to Walmart, Walmart Supercenters. Also want to thank London Mitsubishi. Yes, to get me here. Santa yes. Slay. Very sure-footed, <laughs> nice very sleigh-like. Uh, our friends at uh, A Television watch for us tonight at six. And uh, finally, of course, we want to uh, want to acknowledge um, our guests from the uh, Salvation Army this morning, and from uh, Children's Hospital at London Health Sciences Center and London Health Sciences Foundation That's this right, morning. Donna and Cameron and uh, Ron. Uh, absolutely. Going to be performing Saturday. And a final thank you to uh, to everybody who has uh, donated. Um, so far, and we've had a lot of people who have done some pretty special donations. And this is Maria, and this would be Leanne yes. from, uh, from Walmart. And uh, well, thank you first of all wow. for this huge donation of toys. That's awesome. Yeah, we're very excited about everything that our staff is doing and that the community is doing to support the Angel Tree. Okay, well now explain to us what your staff actually did. How did all these toys come about? Where did they come from? Uh, well, these are donations uh, that the staff has been bringing in. They've actually been participating by pulling angels off and putting them on. And so this is only the tip of the iceberg. That's right. There's two more. There's two huge bins at the back. Hey, I'm Tara Overhold from A Television. I'm here for the third annual Magical Mountain for Toys and. Uh, a Television, along with Bob FM, Walmart, and London Mitsubishi, we've been gathering toys, and you guys have dropped off at so many different uh, donation spots throughout the city so generously over the last couple of weeks, and we're going to be donating all these great toys to the London Salvation Army, as well as the Children's Hospital. And the big thing is, is that we're actually extending this uh, drive for another week because the need is just so great. So we want to thank you guys for being so generous, dropping off some toys, but the need is still out there. So hopefully, maybe because of the snow, you didn't get a chance to go to Walmart, pick up a toy toy not to worry you still have another week that you can and drop it off at one of the many locations throughout the city so yeah what a perfect day the winter wonderland and we're gonna go off and pick up the toys and uh, get them one step closer to the children Hello! What do you think? What, what would you pick for you? <laughs> I saw the Cabbage Patch Kids and that really takes me back because I remember dying to have a Cabbage Patch Kid. So and they I, smell like baby powder. I know, they do smell good. And a little signature on the bum. But, uh, <laughs> It's tattooed. It's tattooed. Oh, that's right. I remember just um, being so excited to get something like that. And so I think it's really cool because I know Cabbage Patch Kids aren't cheap. So I'm really impressed to see that people are buying such great yeah. gifts for little kids because I know how excited it's going to be for all those kids who are going to greet these great presents. It's fun. Yeah. It's just to make it fair for everyone. So, uh, yeah, we're on. This is just on stop number two. Yeah. So we still have lots more. We might um, be hitching a ride back because I think the bus is going to be super filled. Hi. So we've got lots of toys, and now we are get we get to do the drop off. And uh, I think I'm starting to understand what Santa goes through. It's a lot of work. A lot of picking up. Hi. There's the staff at the Children's Hospital. So that bus has Woo. got lots of toys. We're gonna squeeze in and make a lot of little kids very very happy. We're at Salvation Army's headquarters, special events building, Western Fair. Thank you so much to Bob listeners, A-Television viewers. Great job, everybody. It's going to be a Merry Christmas. <laughs>